Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Tune Chaser series. It's the first episode of the year 2020 and um, I'm super excited about this because f first of all during this year I'm going to finish this project and uh, I can share the, the final product, the polished version of the of those songs that I've been working on since I started this video series. But um, during the Christmas holidays, seasonal holidays, um, I traveled to Finland and because of that I decided not to film this video series. So that's why I have this few week uh, break from this series. But that didn't mean that I stopped working on the project. I actually ended up writing lyrics to the song that I um, presented in the previous episode, that open G-tuning song. And besides the lyrics, I actually wrote a guitar solo or have an idea. So um, the lyrics, I don't really have anything to say about uh, the process, I just basically sat down and uh, isolated myself to just to work on the lyrical content for the song, the idea what the song should be about. And once I just sat down and work on the concept behind that song, it became a lot easier to just write those lyrics. And well, usually that works with like basically anything if you just like decide to work on specifically on some things, it, it really helps. Besides the lyrics that I ma uh, mentioned, um, I wrote a guitar solo to that song. So here is the guitar solo that I wrote. Um, more about the actual solo I'm going to tell on the next episode. So enjoy the solo. probably noticed that solo is actually recorded here in Denmark in the same environment and um, I basically did that right when I arrived back to Denmark from the holidays so um, that song is almost ready or finished I still have to write um, the or actually do some sort of vocal production um, some of the vocal melodies or lines are still need to get to on it on a point so I have to work on that but what else did I do during the holiday or worked on besides that song that I mentioned I started writing a new song that was in drop B tuning so it's basically yeah it's kind of the tuning that I've used, but it's a really close one to the standard tuning. And uh, for that song idea, I started gathering I like, like the similar songs or really cool songs that, are, that have that tuning and um, I decided to use this, uh, this um, chord creep that was in, in the song called Unable to See by Tremonti and then started because there was like two chord shapes that had a bit of um, open strings and uh, I decided to use that idea so, and then work from there and um, for that song I actually my main I goal was actually to take my first proper guitar and tune it down to drop B but unfortunately I ended up breaking that E string for some reason and um, well 
it took me some time to actually find a string set. So um, I was a bit too late with that. So I thought it was a lot faster to pick up a Stratocaster and write a song with that. So I ended up doing that. I wrote the that the next song or the first, or it's actually probably the second song in drop B tuning or drop tuning. And um, yeah, I, I kind of just took those grips that you probably see from the clip that I put up after this video and um, yeah, that's just uh, my guitar amp uh, Mesa Boogie single rectifier and then I have the 1x12 rectifier cabinet that I marked up with the, uh, actually the, with the Focusrite uh, Scarlett microphone or the microphone that comes up with that uh, little studio bundle that you can buy so I have that really cheap microphone that recorded that clean tone that you're going to hear next so um, I hope you enjoyed this little like recap of what happened during the winter holidays so um, probably next week I'm going to tell a bit more about that solo in open G tuning and uh, and then talk more about the project and where where is this going to head up next. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.